Yeah. This energy that is released is actually beyond beyond human life, although it can be included in human life, it's actually beyond human life. And so, in a way, it is playful. It's not serious. It just is. Like wind that blows people's skirts up and knocks their hats off and takes their umbrellas up into the sky. You know, that's how the wind does, you know. And laughs. You can hear the wind laughing, you know, because they're always holding on, trying to keep themselves secure from the from the wind. And it's a bit like that. Somehow when this energy moves, it's playful because it's not part of the serious game of living. It's not And so, it has no limits, it, it does, it's not cautious, it doesn't care, it's ruthless, it's ruthless, it's indifferent to the individual desires and fears and patterns and ambitions. Yes, and, and its intention to hold on to what it has. Everybody's holding on to what they have, even if it's not comfortable. This is that's what ego does. Ego maintains itself. This is the continuity of the ego. It's to stay as it is, to expand, but to stay essentially what it is, as in charge, making decisions. And the universe laughs at this. It's anti-universe, it's separation from the universe. And like the wind will laugh at a person who's trying not to be affected by the wind. You have to go and hide from it, you have to go indoors. You know, as long as you're outside, the wind will play havoc with you. The rain will make you wet. And when the rains come and people are sculling along and their heads buried on there, trying to hold onto their hats and throwing their coats on, the rain will laugh. There's no escape. And this, your response is, to it is, shows your lack of acceptance with what is and your unity with the elements. And the cosmic energy is a supreme element beyond the wind, beyond the rain, beyond the storm. Because it's there all the time. Storms come and go, rain comes and goes, winds come and go. <laughs> but the energy of the cosmos never, neither comes nor goes. It's always, always so. So it sweeps all before it. It sweeps all before it. So it's very playful. It's playing with the seriousness and intentions of human beings, their ambitions, their wishes to be a certain way and not be disturbed. Bit of nishta, you know, that's what people have. Please don't disturb. Contribute, but don't really disturb. Give me something in my hand and I can bring it into my heart or my belly or wherever I want. That's very nice, so I grow. But don't really disturb me. Don't rock me. Don't turn me over. Don't really change me. Add to me, but don't really transform me. And its energy is happy to wipe everything away, given the chance. Even if it's not given the chance, it would do it to a point, but the more you open to it, the bigger chance it has to do that. And the more it will overwhelm you and turn you upside down and shipwreck you. If you dare. <laughs>